it started, I was actually at the gym and the bloke who was in charge of the gym, he said, are you all right? I said, yes. He said, well, everything's been an effort. I said, well, one or two things have. He said, go and get your blood checked. I said, there's nothing wrong with my blood. He said, get it checked. So I never thought anything about it. Then all of a sudden, I, one morning, I couldn't get out of bed and I ate everything, ate, and my legs had swollen everything. <laughs> This began when Kath suddenly became ill. Um, this was uh, something that hit her immediately in one go from being a very healthy lady who very rarely ailed anything to uh, someone who could hardly get out of bed. This is in a matter of days. Well, hours virtually. and. Uh, I took her to her GP and the GP had a good look and said uh, it looks like some kind of arthritis. And she said, uh, do you fancy going to Preston? And we both said no. She said, well the option is, are you prepared to go private? I said, I'll do anything to get rid of this pain because I, I could stand pain, I wasn't, you know, so. And she made the arrangement for us, and the day after was at Fullwood Hall to see Dr. Chapapati. Rheumatoid arthritis is, is, a, is a chronic condition which affects joints. Mainly women suffer from it around the age of 40, 45. So most of them then looking forward to probably going out to work uh, because the children have left home, and that's when they're struck. <music> But they talked to us about a clinical trial that was going to happen and Dr Chattabadi was going to get 12 people in a similar state to Kath that as regards being someone that had newly become infected by rheumatoid arthritis. If you take, for example, Mrs Slater's story, which you are well aware that she has done extremely well, she had access to this biologic drug, uh, which normally cost uh, about £10,000 a year uh, for a patient. So she had access to that uh, through the trial, uh, and obviously she has done very well. And this is the idea which we are working on, and most of the rheumatologists would like to, to see that early intervention uh, is, is beneficial because the idea behind it, it is that if your early intervention will then allow uh, or will not allow the, the disease to take foothold, as it were. The modern thinking about management of rheumatoid is to the way we treat our cancer patients. You treat it, go hard at the beginning, get a remission, and then remission is sustained through simpler drugs. And that's what the idea behind this new trial was. And he introduced himself, and shook my hand, said what it was, and he mentioned the trials. And he said his nurse here, Vicky, would contact me with all the details and read everything. And was I prepared to have an injection, which I had. I had three steroids, which from the word go, they were wonderful. The pain, it didn't disappear, but it eased up and it gave me more mobility. And from then on, I've never looked back. The treatment here, uh, the nursing, everything's been good. Kath had the first injection of steroids and within 10 minutes of that, I was driving her home and she said, it's disappearing, the pain, which seemed incredible to me because she was in terrible pain. I said to him, I said, I can't believe this. I said, I have no pain. I said, I'm starting to do things without thinking. And it was worth going on the trials. So it proves that um, it works. <laughs>